Hello everyone, Fallen Fury here, and we are back with more Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we blew up this big-ass boulder and made Snowhead all springy again. In this episode, we're checking out what's in here, but make sure you're a Goron first, you know. This is Goron place. And look at this, we got the Goron racetrack. Let's talk to this little girl. Ah, Darmani, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's dressed us because they can't wait to enter. You're gonna enter, right? You're gonna enter? Enter for what? This is say. You have to, I want to show everyone how Domini races. Oh, well, I guess racetrack, I don't know. So, this is a pretty simple... Or actually, it's not simple at all. It's actually really hard. Because these Gorons are ruthless. They're fast and ruthless. But you can get a really good head start. Like, start right before to go. I don't think I got a very good head start on that one. But, these Gorons go about as fast as you when they're not charged up spiky because they can't go spiky like that. But they are fast. They're fast and they can like knock you out like easily. Just make sure Wow, there's some freaking out going on behind me, I don't know. But make sure that you do not hit those guys head on because you will go out of your spikiness and don't hit those bomb those bomb flowers because they will also hurt you a lot. Um This is basically it's like impossible not impossible, but it's harder if you do not have the uh, magic upgrade. So make sure you get that. Oh, come on, what the hell, man? There's a shortcut right here, and I want to do it. Oh, no, I lost. Wait, that is? Yeah, I lost, big time. Why isn't she saying I can't win? Yeah, I'm a little stiff. Not really like this. Remember how good you are. Blah, blah, blah. See, I'm just going to cut me losing out. And just go over here. I want to show you what the losing screen looks like. Basically saying, oh, tips and whatnot. So, yeah. I'm skipping all that. Or cutting it out. Come on. Pull out ahead. Yes! Oh my god, I finally freaking won after like six times. Jesus Christ, oh my god, it took so long, but I won. That was great, I knew you the fastest girl around here, I'm sure you'd be in first place. This is from Daddy, it's a surprise. Yay, I got another bottle with gold dust in it. I don't need the dust really, but I want to be like you, quick. Yeah, lose four times and win, jeez. Anyway, I'm cutting out six whole minutes of that last thing. That's how long it took me for me to do this. But, we have the gold dust, that's all that matters. So... Anyways, that's what we're gonna do here. So we're going to Mountain Village. Hold on, I need rupees, don't I? Fuck yeah, I do. I know where I get some though, so don't worry. Twenty rupees. I can go for that. I mean, not that big a deal. I anyway, talk to them. Oh, a customer? Come over, fetch our customer some coffee, quick like, and then let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to refer your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. I'll be ready at sunrise. You have to hold on your sword till then. Keep in mind that after you use your forging sword 100 times, it loses its edge and will be back to its original sharpness. Would you like your sword to be forged? No thanks. Oh, really? Then it can't be really helped. I can't really be helped. Drop by again sometime. Forget about the coffee. This is a secret, but I told you to be new. I'll say, forge strong swords. I'll never lose its edge. It's the strongest. the strongest. Well, I have the gold dust. I just need to find the freaking rupees. So, anyway. Uh, let's go back to Clock Town and get some rupees. There's some stuff we can do without using our sword. Um, in that ranch that I got the bunny hood in. Yeah, you can do some stuff there without your sword. So, that's what I'm probably going to do. Do that little side quest and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> go to Clock Town, get some rupees, or rubies as some people say. Now, like they really should voice act one of these games so you can know what they what the actual like pronunciation of stuff is like Kakariko Village, Ocarina, Ocarina, Ruby, 
rupee. I don't know, man. It's like, what the hell? There's so much stuff that can be pronounced differently. But the, I mean, I guess voice, voice acting in a game. I mean, look at the CDI Zelda. You know how much that gets made fun of just because of voice acting. I mean, there was a terrible game either way, but I'm pretty sure voice acting in a Zelda game wouldn't go over so well. Get our hundred rupees, and I'll see you guys. Wait, no, I won't. I sh I'll just keep going. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to the bank because I sh there's another hundred rupees in the uh, um in the uh, bomber cabin, but it takes a long time to get there, and it's faster just to go here. So get our rupees. I think I need 70 more because you ref you reforge it twice. So. Maybe you don't. Hold on. Withdrawal. And... I need that 79 rupees. Or 69. Use it wisely. Yeah, it's kind of funny what she like. She tells you. Like, some stuff she tells you. Like, if you take out a lot, she's like, Oh my god, if you take it all... If you take them all at this rate, you're never gonna have any rupees left, you big spender. And then if you put a lot in, she's like, Oh my god, you're one rich guy. I love you, or something. The bank plays an important role later on because there's a heart piece involved with it. So I think I'm just going to trade in my sword. Oh, I, I, I'll go talk to that big Goron and get the certification or whatever for the powder keg and then go blow up. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Go in here. Customer, get coffee. And I want to reforge it. Yes, I do. Stop talking slow. Yes. Alright. Now, I do not have a sword anymore. Unfortunately. But, luckily, I do not need it. And here's why. Well, I could attack... I, like, you can still use all your items you have. You could attack with your bow, your... Go on, paunch. And, yeah. Um, so, let's just go back to Go on Village and talk to that guy. Get our... Uh, certification or whatever they call it for using powder keg because there's two things there's only two needs for it in the whole game unless you want to go back and do it again which I don't know why you want to you do it once and you get it done you know but I do like this place when it's springtime I will admit that it's a very very homely place you know I think that's the right word homely maybe not Unfortunately, Gorons are too fat and they can't climb that ledge, which is kind of pointless considering only Gorons can go in here. I mean, Nintendo logic is cool. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I find letting you handle powder kegs on your own. It was bad for me to put you through a dangerous test, is my apology. And you get a free powder keg. Awesome. Nah, shoot them and explode. Yeah, he gives you the tip that you can shoot them with arrows to explode. So I'm just gonna go. Now, you may have noticed. You probably, maybe you didn't, I don't know. Um, there is a big boulder like that one in front of Lon Lon Ranch on day one and day two. So I'm going to go blow that up and I think that'll be this video. Go to Milk Road. Conveniently, there's an owl there. Cause there's a lot of stuff to do there, I'm not going to lie. So the next video will probably be all about Lon Lon Ranch exploring, you know. Get my new sword. New badass sword. Like that. Can I pick these up? No. I need to beat Goron. Cause there's some magic and arrows and stuff I want. Magic, fairy, arrows. Okay. So let's get this boulder out of the way. It's kind of funny how like scared this guy gets when he pulls out. He's like, "Oh no, run!" <laughs> and then let's turn back into a human and blow it up. Cause I'm a very impatient fellow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's see what he has to say about that. Da -da -da -da. Hey, as long as open the traffic, it's fine. Seems very disappointed in that. He's like, oh, I wanted to blow it up. I wanted to, I wanted to break it. But, anyway, guys, this has been Fallen Fury signing out of Majora's Mask. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.